Hello everyone. You're welcome to Shitu Mathematics class. Uh, into this tutorial today, we are going to be looking at this question on this board. Okay, so we have this question. I want to solve for the value of x, that is the x is the variable. So therefore, when you have this kind of problem, what are we going to do? So in this kind of problem, we have to be very careful, okay, and be optimistic to get the what the result so let's see what we're going to do so you can see that i'm going to what if i try to send this root x to this uh, because i have root x here okay now trying to collect the light time i would like to transpose root x to this side so it's going to be x root x then minus root x okay equals what equals x so now from here okay before uh we finish okay we can this x cannot be negative okay x cannot be negative therefore x will always what we're always greater than or equals zero okay so now to know what we are going to you know have we always what we always greater than or equals to zero because when you have root x root x so we cannot have uh this under the sort cannot be what cannot be uh, negative okay if you are looking for actually real numbers so now we have that so now let's continue so from here we can try to you know factorize root x out so i'm going to be having root x then i have x minus one this way and i try to square the both sides so if i square the both sides i'm going to be having square here i'm going to be having all of this squared so this is going to be root x okay all squared then x minus one all squared equals what equals all squared so now this happens like where you have a multiplied by b and we have c so this is going to be a to power c multiplied by b to power c so let me use a uh, dot dot instead because of the variable x we have here so this law of indices i apply here okay now try to distribute this power over what we have inside the parentheses so that's why we have this <clears throat> so now from here the next thing we need to do we consider this square we cancel the square root i have x into bracket x minus one all square then equals to s squared so now from here i can write this equation okay to be s squared sending all of this to the other side i'm going to be having x then x minus one all squared equals what equals zero so now from here we can actually factorize we can see we have x here we have x here so now s squared divided by x i'm going to be having x outside trying to factorize so i will have x inside minus so this one is going to be x minus one then all squared okay then i have this i have this okay then equals what equals zero so now from there <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is from here you can see this is zero form equation so which shows that x is equal zero or x minus x minus one all square is equal what is equal zero so therefore we have one of the possible solutions for this equation to be x equals zero so now from here so we try to expand this place i have what i have x minus so try to expand this is going to be x x times x is going to give me x square x times uh one minus one i'm going to be having minus x so i pick this minus one minus one times x i'm going to be having minus x then minus one times minus one this is going to give me one so we have this then equals zero so now from there we have what x minus try to open the brackets with this minus it's going to be x squared minus times minus we have plus x minus times minus we have plus x then minus times this i have what i have minus one equals zero so now from there what are you going to have we are going to have x you see that x plus x plus x so this is going to give me three mm, x okay then minus what minus x squared okay then minus one equals zero so now having this we can write this equation by sending all of this to the other side so this will give me x squared minus 3x then plus 1 equals what equals 0 so now from here the next thing we need to do you can see we are now we have resulted to uh, equation no quadratic equation in terms of x so now from here what we are going to do is we are going to use a uh, quadratic formula to get the value of x so we try to have this general equation of quadratic then compare with this because we need a b and c i'm getting it now so here according to this my constant coefficient here is going to be one so comparing we have a to be one we have b to be minus three and we have c to be what c to be one so we have what we have 
our equation to be what equation is minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac over what over 2a are you following so now we have this so we are going to plug in these values inside this so to we have what we have x equals minus minus 3 okay plus or minus we have b is what is this we have minus 3 all squared the minus 4 times a is what is 1 then c is 1 are you getting it now so from there we are going to be having 2 times 1 so here we have what we have this to be x equals to minus times minus we have plus 3 plus or minus so this is going to be minus 3 squared is going to be 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1 is going to be minus 4 then we have what we have 2 so now from there we have what we have x to be equals to we are going to have 3 plus or minus 9 minus 4 is going to give me what root 5 then over what over 2 so now from there so we can have our x to be equals to 0 that is the solution set s equals to 0 then s equals to sorry x x equals to 3 plus root 5 okay over 2 and uh, x equals to 3 minus root 5 over 2 so now these are the what these are the solutions to the problem okay so i prefer to leave my answer in short form like this because to be able to have my accurate answer so but another person can actually leave the answer in decimal form but mind you when you put your answers in decimal form so you see that you're going to approximate so and when you approximate you have shortened the accuracy of the solution so i prefer leaving my answer in short form like this but if you don't like to be in that place or in this way you can use your calculator then put your values in decimal so we have what we have these three possible values okay to be what to be the solutions to the problem we are giving so if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to follow our Facebook page so the, the the question is somehow tricky but it's very simple so i want you to you know watch this video over and over you see you get what we really did okay thank you for watching bye please share this to your colleagues so they can learn from it bye